in this presentation we will implement half adder using only the nand gate now in the presentation when we discuss the half adder we found out that the sum s is equal to a x or b whereas the carry output is equal to a and b here this a is the single bit number which we want to add with b where b is also single bit number so if you want to implement it by using the xor gate it's very simple the sum is a x or b by using a single xor gate and the carry output is a and b by using a single and gate but now we want to implement it by using the nand gates only so let's move to this part first the sum and uh, you already know how to implement the XOR gate by using the NAND gate this is we discussed in our um, universal gate presentation so let's make a XOR gate by using the NAND gates so this is our first NAND gate this is our second NAND gate you just remember this pattern it's very easy to make a XOR gate by using this one this uses the minimum possible number of the NAND gate to implement the XOR operation this is our first input let's say A this is our B now what you have to do you have to take this A to this gate and also B as one of the input to this gate now the output of this gate will go as one of the input to this one and also one of the input to this gate okay and the output of this gate will act as the input of this last NAND gate and the output of this gate will act as the input of this last NAND gate and guess what the sum the sum s is equal to a x or b let's say it quickly how it how it is happening here a goes into this a goes into this and B goes into this so this is what at this point what you are having you are having A and B and then it's complement because this is NAND you have to take the AND operation then it's complement and this thing A and B complement goes as one of the input to this one and A is the another input so we are having A and A and B it's complement and then whole complement fine similarly in here the output for this gate will be B A and B its complement and then the whole complement fine let's simplify it a bit so that we'll see what actually we are having we will use the De Morgan's law to open it down so we are having a complement this end operation will change to or and the complement and then again its complement will give us a and b fine similar thing we will do in this case we are having b complement or a and b i think this is this is clear to you now let's move to our last step in which we have to end this two this two and then take its complement so let's do it a complement a and b then we have to end with this B complement or A and B so this is B complement or A and B and then we have to take the complement of whole thing fine so let's see what we are having here in this you can see that A and B is there so we will use the distributive law and by using the distributive law we are having A complement B complement or a B fine and then it's complement this is what this is XOR operation definitely I hope you know this is XOR XOR operation sorry so this is A XOR B and then it's complement and it is what it is equal to A XOR B when you are having the two inputs and uh, you want to take the complement of XOR then it is equal to XOR and vice versa is also true so I just proved that this combination gives you what the XOR operation and as one of the input is A other input is B this sum is realized by using this particular logic now what we are left with we are left with our carry output and the carry output is what A and B so what we have to do instead of instead of making a separate AND gate 
by using the eggs uh, sorry by using the nand gates we will try to find out something from this circuit so that we we save our some gates so at this point you can see that a and b and its complement is present so the only thing we need to do is to take its complement again so that we are having a and b very simple so what we will do we will take this output of this first gate and then we will send it to one of the NAND gate which acts as the complement or NOT gate this is the NOT gate you know why it is NOT gate because when the two inputs are same let's say A so what it gives it gives A and A and its complement and by the boolean algebra you know that A and A is equal to A and there is a complement so complement so this thing act as the NOT gate similarly this one and if I pass it through a NOT gate it will complement it and the complement of the complement will give you A and B which is equal to what our carry output so this is how we realize a half error by using only the NAND gate in the next presentation we will try to find out how the half error is realized by using only the NOR gate so see you in the next one